bro, I don't believe it, guys. I don't believe it. It actually works. So, yo, what's up, guys? This is Atrix here. Today, I have two low end Android devices with me right here. This one is Redmi Note 7 with Snapdragon 660 processor and 4GB of RAM. And we'll be finding out if Skyline emulator can be played on low end devices. Many of you guys were saying that please also test Skyline emulator on Mali GPU on processors like MediaTek or Exynos. So, here I have got this phone, which is Samsung F41, which has Exynos 9611 processor, which is very basic. We'll be testing out emulation if you have low end devices this will be a decent benchmark now the thing with emulation is snapdragon processors usually get better experience while emulating games but on the other hand if we use an uh, device with mali gpu which comes in exynos and mediatek processors then most of the time you will just get poor fps or many bugs and glitches and the gameplay won't be playable at all so to prove this part i have loaded pokemon let's go pikachu on both of these android devices and we'll be launching them uh, side by side and we'll see if these games work so first of all let me begin with redmi note 7 so before we test it out let me show you guys the settings which i am using so both of these phones are using the latest build of skyline emulator the build 1200 and also i have disabled dock mode on both of these android devices and that's it guys those are the settings which i am using if you are trying to emulate nintendo switch games on low end android devices then the only games which will work perfectly are games like sonic mania and Celeste and other playable games which are 2D but if you guys try playing games such as Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or anything else it will be a whole different story so let's begin by testing it out on my Redmi Note 7 and let's see if it works guys I have loaded the save file to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu so I basically restarted my Skyline emulator but what the heck is this bro it actually booted guys Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu booted on a 4 year old Android device I mean I can see that there are a lot of glitches and uh, problem with this game like the text is not visible, uh, the colors are faded, there is no kind of texture going on. But that's not it guys, now we'll actually try to go in game and see if the game is actually playable or not. And we are still getting about 15 FPS, what the heck bro, what the heck is this Pokemon logo bro, I don't believe it but it actually is working. Oh bro, Pokemon let's go Pikachu, what is this bro, like, I don't even see anything in background and here we go guys. It's unbelievable but I am actually getting 10 FPS right now on this moment uh, which is really crazy because if you guys remember then I tested the same game on my IQ7 Legend which has Snapdragon 888 processor and will you believe it I still got 14 to 11 FPS which was really poor but you can see that the text is not loaded uh, properly I guess it's because driver issues uh, Skyline emulator may not support older Snapdragon devices and bro Bro, what the heck is this, bro? Bro, I don't believe it, guys. I don't believe it. It actually works. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu actually put it on a low-end Android device. Like, this device even sucks while using Google Chrome and we are literally emulating a Nintendo Switch game on it. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu to be exactly precise. Now, let me tell you guys something. Skyline emulator is still in its alpha stage, so uh, it will need to become stable. All of these issues may be fixed in uh, the near future because Skyline emulator just does not support it. It does not have good compatibility right now. But if we try again a simulator, I guess it's even worse. It's just crashing all the time. But here in Skyline emulator, you can see the game works perfectly fine. The character is not visible. Everything else uh, is like poorly rendered. Like if you try a uh, GFX tool while playing PUBG Mobile, if you do that, you will get the reference. But it's like po Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu has been modified to be played on and low end android device and that's what i'm seeing and i'm getting about 5 fps right now 5 to 6 fps which is not bad at all now guys now here is my proposal if this video reaches 500 likes then once skyline emulator is stable i'll test out uh, this game again on my low end android devices so be sure to hit that like button with that being said now let me just go ahead and close this skyline emulator and as you can see right here my entire G device just crashed so yeah this device even though it has only 4 GB of RAM and Nintendo Switch uh, emulation requires minimum 8 GB of RAM, we still were able to successfully run Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. But, but don't forget, we'll also test out One Piece later on. But till then, let's try out playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu on a 2020 uh, mid-range device, uh, the Samsung F41. It has 6 GB of RAM, but unfortunately, it has Exynos processor, so it will have Mali GPU. The Skyline emulator does not work well with Mali GPU, so let's find out if Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu actually works. Last time we tested uh, this device with Sonic Mania and even Sonic Mania did not work but here okay so it just crashed guys I don't believe this but 
Literally, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu just crashed. Just so disappointing, bro. It, okay, 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 okay. I spoke too soon, guys. I spoke too soon. So yeah, it, it booted. Uh, so let me try clicking something. It's not working, bro. I guess, yeah, the game just froze, guys. So let me just go ahead and close this game. And I'll reopen this Skyland emulator again. And now let's see if it works. Uh, so here we go. I have restarted uh, the Skyland emulator. And again, the game is not working. The game just froze. This is the difference between Snapdragon devices and Exynos. Like seriously, bro, if your uh, GPU is not Adreno, then it does not work well at all. So I get many comments from you guys telling me that, bro, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu doesn't work on Skyline Emulator. It uh, shows me black screen. It gives me texture issues. There is no text. So yeah, if you are trying it on mid-range or low-end devices, it will happen. But if you have a flagship Snapdragon Android device, then I'm sure that uh, you won't face any problems like that and here you can see that i just tried opening one piece unlimited which is also one of those games which works on skyline emulator i i guess so yeah this one booted on uh, my samsung f41 we'll see if it actually boosts if it's playable okay so here we have like uh, the boot screen we'll just go ahead and click us click on start a new game okay so the fps dropped to 16 to 17 fps and the emulator just crashed so yeah mali gpu you are, you are just very disappointing bro like seriously any device with mali gpu is very disappointing in terms of emulation but uh, again if you have a snapdragon device then you will be surprised quite a lot i remember in the old days uh, citra emulator days and i used to emulate 3ds games on this device and people used to still be surprised saying that how how is your device getting so much fps i am playing on a mediatek device but i don't get that much fps so yeah emulation is not well supported on mediatek processors just keep that in mind but here is saying press any button to start the adventure okay start game so i guess there are a lot of compatibility bugs in skyline emulator related to like the texture not being loaded on old devices i don't know i i think that once uh, skyline emulator is fully developed i do believe wholeheartedly that uh, this device even though it's nearly it's like four years old uh, still will be able to emulate Nintendo Switch games, no problem. So that's my theory, but I guess the game just froze right here at 52 FPS now loading. So here's my conclusion. If you have an Android device with Exynos or MediaTek processor, then I would recommend you guys don't waste your time on Skyline emulator because those processors are not well optimized for emulation. Whereas if you have a Snapdragon device, no matter if it's an old low end uh, Snapdragon device, I believe that you will be easily able to emulate at least 2D games like Sonic Mania, Celeste and a few other games like Bastion which work pretty well on low-end devices so, I would, uh, so I'd like to tell you guys that but if you are trying to emulate games like Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu then you will surely need a better game because as we saw it works but it's not playable at all. So yeah that's it for today's video thanks for watching make sure like and subscribe stay tuned for more videos goodbye see you guys tomorrow.